In this video we're going to look at the heat of reaction experiment. In the heat of reaction experiment we're going to mix two substances, in this case an acid and a base. We're going to measure the heat of reaction that's given off on mixture. To do this we'll use a calorimeter and this is something that we'll place the beaker into so that it insulates the walls of the beaker. In other words, as the reaction is proceeding and giving off heat, the heat that's given off won't be able to leave the calorimeter. We'll measure the increase in temperature in the reaction using a thermometer placed in the calorimeter. The problem is, though, that even though the calorimeter is insulated, some heat will still escape through the walls of the calorimeter. It's not perfect. So we need to first of all calibrate the calorimeter to see how much heat will be lost through the calorimeter. So in the calibration step, we'll take 100 mL of hot water and 100 mL of cold water. We'll add the cold water into the calorimeter, put on the lid and measure its temperature. So we put in our thermometer and we measure the temperature. And this is the temperature of the cold water. So our temperature of our warm water here is just under 33 degrees and the temperature of the cold water is uh, just 18 degrees. So in this experiment the cold water is going to gain some heat, the warm water is going to lose some heat. So we'll pour in our warm water and after mixing we'll note the temperature of the solution. The heat lost by the warm water will equal to the heat gained by the cold water plus the heat lost to the walls of the calorimeter. So we see here the temperature of our mixture, Tm, is 25 degrees. So we can use this information to work out how much heat was lost to the walls of the calorimeter. This is done very easily using this calculation. We can say that the heat lost by the warm water is equal to the heat gained by the cold water plus the heat lost through the calorimeter. And knowing Tc, Tw and Tm, we can work out Ccal, the calorimeter constant. 